You're gonna just take that. I read that this was a neutral ground for the the Indian tribes. Ah, this is where peace was made. Peace was made at the hot springs. It looked like we were just going off the end of the earth right there. It's called the bonus shower. <laughs> There's nothing like the feel of a brand new sewer hose. Come on. I love driving out west. It's America is so much exhaustible <laughs> with its beauty. We made it to Saratoga. So this is Saratoga Lake. These are electric only sites. And I think they're $15. The sun hit that last night when we were here and it was like this aqua, you know, bluish color. So it looked pretty cool. White pelican in there. The main goal was to come to these hot springs before we hit the road again. So we're going to, I believe it's called Hobo Hot Springs or Miracle Hot Springs or whatever. They're free hot springs and we're gonna check them out. Are you ready for the rejuvenating powers? I need some rejuvenation right now. <laughs> Is this one hotter? Uh-huh. Feels it. <laughs> this one's even tastier. <gasps> okay. Is it getting hotter? This is awesome. Figure out where the where the heat source is coming from. Do you like that uh, little sulfur smell, Lily? <laughs> Do you feel like you're swimming in Yellowstone, Yellowstone right now? Yellowstone. That's like what it smells like for sure. Isn't it cool? Like the uh, the gravelly, you know, bottom. Yeah, I definitely didn't realize it was going to be like, like the gravel that's on the bottom. Yeah. It's very soft on your toes. So I, I read that this was a neutral ground for the, the Indian tribes. Ah, this is where peace was made? Peace was made at the hot springs. You're gonna just take that. <laughs> well, I don't mind to slow down anymore. I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor. I don't mind selling out or playing cover song. Just as long as friends and family sing along. I don't need more money or faster car, no. Don't need a magazine to call me a superstar, no. I'm gonna take this little house and make a home. And then I'll never have to face my nights alone. All right, so that's kind of how I expected those hot springs to be. Um, not nearly as actually, they're better than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Well, when a place is free and open 24 hours a day, you're not really sure what to expect. <laughs> it was it was not as bad as I had it in mind. Here's head. the thing. We have these high, high expectations. Our very first hot springs experience, experience was Liard Hot Springs up in Canada. I mean, we walked out this boardwalk. Uh, a moose and a baby moose walked across the path. And we got there super early, like 5 in the morning. We had the whole place to ourselves. So and that's what we compare everything, all hot springs experiences to. We're all gonna just stay put. Here, take this. Go on, little Can you use bear spray on a moose? Is that what you're filming? She's fine. I'm just walking this way. Feet are so cold that it just really hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get the drone up real quick.
So the Saratoga Hot Springs, um, they were cool because they're they're formed around natural stone, and then there's a gravel base. So it's mm -hmm. not just a concrete, you know, pool. Yes. It's, it's really neat. So all the all the water comes up, flows through all the things. So it's almost like a, a river. The pools are a river, and yes. everything dumps out into the Platte River. And there are three different pools that you can get in that are all different temperatures. There's one called the Lobster that was like 115, and like we just touched lobster it and we were pot, like, yeah. no, no, we're good. Yeah, <laughs> I, will, I will bake in that. Um, I, Me personally, I liked the river little spots best because the cold water is mixing yeah. in with the hot water. I think if you were coming through on like a nice warm day, that would be a really, really fun experience. But I think if you're in the area, it's definitely worth checking out. Yeah. Uh, we got there a little later than I wanted to. We had the place almost to ourselves and we got there after seven. But yeah. if, if you get there before seven, I think you'll have the whole place to yourself. Uh, it's really neat. I yes. think if I was in the area a little longer, um, and we were going to go more than once. I might try to go there at night and do some night photography. I think That'd that be might really be cool. really cool, like the hot springs under the Milky Way or something like that. <laughs> and one point that we wanted to make, there are rules there and you have to have a bathing suit on. Yes. And it's like clothing is not optional at any point there. Yes. <laughs> that was one of our concerns. Clothes. There's clothes. <laughs> um, so we've actually kind of halted our, our westward expansion. We're just heading north now. So we are in Wyoming and eventually we will be going straight up. I think it's almost straight up from here. Yes. Possibly Yellowstone, uh, Beartooth Pass is something I really want to do and up into Glacier. So we're really excited. We're heading north now. We're on our way to the ranch. This is our first time heading north to the ranch. We've hit it from all directions oh. except for this one. This is a brand new road and Man. it's amazing. This road is absolutely amazing. I love driving out west. We constantly are saying it. We've been on the road for almost five years and there is still so much to see. Like yes. we have not even come close to exhausting the beautiful, incredible places in this country. Exactly. I mean, even just what we just did coming through parts of Colorado we had never seen and, and then Medicine Bow just completely blowing our minds. There's America just is so much exhaustible <laughs> with its beauty. This looks like we're just falling off the earth right now. <laughs> oh my this gosh. This is unbelievable. What in the world? Look at this. Oh my gosh, what in the world? I don't know what other trucks are like, but you have to actually sometimes tap the brake for the engine to know you want it to brake. For, for the Duramax engine anyways. Goodness gracious. I don't even know what those mountains are. I don't, I don't even... know. I don't know. We need to look it up though. Wow. That was really cool. That mountain range off to the side of me was is Gannett Peak. It's actually Wyoming's tallest mountain. Isn't that crazy? So that's why that looks so cool. Yeah. That like snow covered that peak way out there. No joke. Like I, it looked like we were just going off the end of the earth right there. So awesome. I don't know why that looked so strange, but it was that's awesome. Great. We got both windows down and no one around. Don't have to take it slow. We got ten miles of open road. That's in the radio. We got both windows down and no one around. Don't have to take it slow. We're good to go. So much that we don't know. To go. There's nothing like the feel of a brand new sewer hose. Come on. All right. I want to film about two things right now. The first is this incredible view we have of the Bighorn Mountains under a massive storm. Look at this. It's so cool. It's so awesome. I love it out west. I just love it. 
when you're in these big wide open spaces and you can see the weather happening like so far away and yeah. these massive clouds coming in, it reminds me of when we were driving through like North Dakota and that insane storm was following us. Yeah. When the sunflower fields, oh my gosh, that thing was crazy. Really crazy. Probably the best looking storm I've ever seen in my whole life. Oh yeah. It looks like an alien ship like on Independence Pretty Day. Pretty sure that's got a nasty storm in it though. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I just can't even get over this. I gotta get the sunflower seed. I gotta. Oh my gosh. Go, 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 go. Look at that. I know. Are they sunflowers? I think so. Whoa, that bird. They're super yellow, whatever they are. We just got an alert, it's like six in the morning, um, that there's a strong storm coming. So I think we're just gonna hit the road early and get ahead of it. Yeah, I don't wanna be here. 70 mile an hour winds and one inch hail. No, thank you. Yeah, I don't. Maybe don't oh. wash them with the bugs off. Oh and I'm dripping down, that's so gross. So gross. gross. Oh. Right. So we're on 16. 16 goes right across the Bighorn Mountains. I love that pass. It's got these amazing switchbacks. It's an it's a great pass. Yes, if you okay. have not driven that, you should. <laughs> Are you excited? I've been waiting to go back since we left. It's Number another two. Another thing I wanted to talk about. It's called the bonus shower. <laughs> okay, so when you're boondocking and when you're out, you know, exploring, you know, true exploring, there's no real RV parks with full hookups. There's there's a, there's such a thing as a bonus shower, and that is when you go to a dump station that's at a gas station or or whatever, and you go and you fill up water, you get out of the way, yep, and then everybody takes a shower, and then you just dump. So you clean everything. Exactly. Your bodies are clean. Your RV is clean. It's a bonus shower. You're ready for the next destination. Yes. Not that you're not taking showers in between. It's right. A, it's a bonus shower. <laughs> Usually, you're coming out of boondocking and like that's just a nice thing to be able to do. And you're probably having a travel day or a drive day. So it just allows you to have that extra one in the middle. Yes. And never, if you ever do this, and you should, don't ever just sit there. No. Get out of the way. Right. You fill up your water, you go off, there's plenty of room at these places. Do your thing, loop back around, clean everything out, and, and then you're back ready. on the road the looking at place. storms over the Bighorn Mountains. <laughs> okay, that's it. We will see you next on some sort of adventure in the mountains of Wyoming. That rainbow is going directly into the pass. That is the pass that goes up into and over the Bighorn Mountains. So cool. Look at that.